Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is combine uh, the information from the last video, um, which is the relationship of what the calculator is doing and the relationship of the ratio of the sides and use that to solve for unknowns. So, as you can see in both these triangles, um, we can't use the Pythagorean theorem to knock out these sides. We want to solve for A and B over here, and we want to solve for X and Y over here. Fortunately, we don't have two sides where we could easily use the Pythagorean theorem. So this is where trig trigonometry comes in handy, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're going to pick this angle right here that's given to us. And from here, let's see if we could label all the sides in relationship to that angle and then use our trigonometric ratios to solve, okay? So opening up over here, you notice I have an opposite side, okay? That's good. And the side that's across from the 90 degree angle is going to give me the hypotenuse and the side that is left is the adjacent. So if I'd like to solve for A, what I can do is that I want to take a look at the following because I want only one unknown. A is an unknown. I don't know what it is. So I have to include that. I have to include an angle and another unknown, which is 30, some length. Notice that the angle is always going to be ever present and the hypotenuse is given. So I want to use that. And then we can solve for the adjacent side. So let's see how this works. So I have the adjacent, again, hypotenuse and angle. It looks like our best bet is to use the cosine because that includes an angle, an adjacent side, and a hypotenuse. So taking a look at that, um, let's start to knock it out. The cosine of 22 degrees is going to equal the ratio of these sides, A, which we don't know, over 30. Okay, now if I want to solve for A, I could just use some algebra and undo it by multiplying 30 to each side to knock out these denominators. And I can get A equals the cos, oops, let's put the, it's usually we put the number out in front. We got 30 cosine 22 degrees. Okay, and that's we're going to have to ask the calculator for and when we plug it in we're going to get that length of side a is going to be 27.81 uh, units long okay so that's what a is going to equal perfect okay so now we can use trigonometry once more or we could use the pythagorean theorem but since this is a uh, trigonometric video i'm going to use um, trigonometry just so we get a good idea how to use it here okay so let's go after b now so i have now that that's solved i have a 22 all right and i'm not going after a so i'm going to erase that part out so now i have a 22 i have an opposite side b that i want to solve for and a known side the hypotenuse 30. so if i have opposite and hypotenuse it looks like the best bet is going to be using the sine ratio so let's set it up. The sine of 22 degrees equals B over 30. Now, what I'm going to do is the same thing as I did last time. Multiply each side by 30. Those are going to go out. And I end up with B equals 30 times the sine of 22 degrees. Okay, and as I put that into my calculator, I'm going to get uh, approximately 11.29, uh, okay? So now I have all the parts, or all the sides of the triangles knocked out. That's just an approximate, okay? So um, that's how you do that one. And let's take a look at another technique where sometimes the variable is on the bottom and we are going to use um, some different uh, techniques for the triangle on the right hand side here. So um, let me clear this out. OK, so going after this guy right here, um, let's uh, since we're already kind of familiar from the last example, let's just go right after this. 
I got a 30 degrees, I got an opposite side, I have a hypotenuse, and I have an adjacent. Okay, so let's take a look at how to solve for x first. I have something that is going to, I have a known side that's opposite, okay, I have a known angle, and I have an unknown hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse is going to best bet going to be sine. So I set this up as the sine of 30 degrees equals 6 over x. Okay, now if the variables in the denominator, kind of like a quality of life way to switch these around real quick is that, um, or do the algebra real quick, is that we can just have these guys switch places, okay? So your sine of 30 degrees and the x switch places, which will give you x equals 6 divided by the sine of 30 degrees, okay? Which, when I put that into my calculator, that's going to give me, all right, 12, exactly, all right? So I have 12 um, as uh, the longest side, the hypotenuse there, okay? So um, let's take a look at the next one that we're trying to get, and it looks like we're going after an adjacent side, and we have an opposite side, okay? So if I have a known angle, adjacent side, and an opposite side, so opposite, adjacent, looks like tangent's going to be the best way to go for that one. So I go tangent of 30 degrees equals the opposite side, 6 over x, okay? Using the same technique of just switching these guys around, because that's where the algebra is going to take us. It's just a faster way to knock this thing out. We get 6 equals, I'm sorry, x equals 6 divided by the tangent of 30, which is going to approximately give me 10.39, okay? And that's an approximate because it has a long non-repeating decimal there, okay? So, um, that said, um, that's how you do those guys. And um, I'll see you in the next video where now we can use trigonometry to go after some unknown angles.